Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Dredge today, but not just any regular old Dredge, if there even is one at the moment. We're going to be playing based around his reload spam playstyle and just, you know, going for Scuttle and spamming stuff out as much as we can. Somewhat sadly, though, he doesn't really have, like, any cards that play into what we're going for. The most we can do is grab a Death Hands and the Talent, but I will show off this setup kind of quickly, just so you know what I'm going to be grabbing, and then we'll just jump into some games. I'm obviously not going to be going for Spike cooldown or Heal, because it wouldn't make any sense. We're going to be sticking Sticking to, I guess, my standard dredge setup, which is Dark Bargain max level, Dreadnought max level, so 250 extra health, 250 heal a second when we're near a uh, shortcut. Hopefully, I freaking use this properly. Sea Dogs for a tiny bit of extra healing when we're below 50% health, tiny bit of a shield when we go below 50% health as well, and also a little bit of extra jump height when we leave a uh, shortcut. I say a little bit, it does kind of send you flying, but for some reason, this card levels the duration after your F instead of the jump height. It's a little bit weird, and honestly, that's kind of it. There's nothing really else I can actually go through. It's a pretty straightforward thing what we're going to be playing with today. I'm going to stick to TDM and Onslaught we did a bunch of Siege in yesterday's video, so I want to go for a bit more of a casual thing with this. Although another thing that I do want to note before we get into a game that isn't really all that important is that I'm not rebinding my reload key. Usually if you're going to go for this, I'd recommend maybe changing it to a mouse button if you have one, or just an easier button to spam on your keyboard. Basically though, what I mean by that is that usually if I was going to play this, I'd rebind it to my mouse key. I've done it before when I played like Reload Spam Damber or whatever, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it on R, even though I'm not really used to it, just so that you get an idea of what it's like if you don't go in with any sort of prep or you can't be bothered. Also, I I haven't actually played since the Tyra video yesterday, so I don't know if the servers are still in a pretty decent state or if, or if they've gone back to being somewhat busted like they were before the Tyra video. You guys were telling me in the comments that they have improved a little bit, but I don't really know. I haven't played any more games. Like I said, we've got Onslaught Magistrate's Archives as the map. We've got a Koga, a Ceres, a Maeve, and an Anara. We'll go ahead and use a booster for the boys. For the enemy team, though, we're up against a Zin, a Genos of Ruckus, a Drogos, and a Sky. Other than a couple ults, though, we don't really have anything on our side that combos with us, whereas they have a Genos and a Zin, which combo pretty well. Same thing with the Sky. And the Drogos. Drogos actually kind of counters what we're going for because he's a little bit hard to hit. Of course, we'll go ahead and grab Scuttle and then the setup we've already gone through. I'm going to just go ahead and sort off with Death Hands and then save up to get it running as quick as possible because at level 1 and 2 it isn't too crazy. We've got Adrenaline Junkie, Treacherous Ground will actually combo quite nicely. Didn't even think about that. Rogue Scamber and Mortal Reach. Then we're up against Fusillard. Flux Generator is an interesting choice here. Preparation is also kind of interesting. I see a lot of people go for preparation on Sky. I'm not sure if that's like a meta thing now. Maybe I should make a video on it. When was the last time I actually played with Prep Sky? Maybe that's an upcoming video. Let me know if you want to see that, I guess. And they've also got Smolder and Binary Stars. So they've got a bit of an interesting setup there with talents. I don't know if they're all going to switch or if they're actually staying with those. An interesting set though. There are some bombs for the Ruckus. I guess I'll go ahead and throw my Hurl at him. I don't know why he just stood there. I really should throw my F down because I don't have anything to heal me. Hello Zin. I'm going to go ahead and teleport I guess. I was in a really crappy spot there. Luckily that has left me up here. Hello Zin. I am probably still dead. Yeah he just bowled through me. Sky and Zin are just here. There's a reload for him. We'll get another one. I've got Death Hands too so it's a little bit faster but man it still feels pretty slow. He is going for the all having a bit of a tough time so far can you tell there's a reload for him and two direct hits okay sure we're actually getting kind of clapped there's some damage for these guys sky's not looking too good i'm just going to keep throwing that down might as well get a freaking ult on the ruckus who's sitting in the corner sky was also doing the same thing there is a team wipe mainly because of the Ceres. well done i actually got a triple there there's a direct hit for the zin hit him with a reload that didn't land i don't know where he's gone i guess he's trying to run away back towards our spawn for some reason he's now here very strange i don't know what i'm doing i guess i should just sit on the point sky went for the ult we did all dodge it though there's some more hits for the Ruckus. I don't even feel like I should be trying to reload spam until I have Death Hands Max because it just feels like it takes ages, even with the 40%. I don't know what Ruckus is doing. He's definitely a newer player because he's making some really strange choices. Zin definitely seems to be paying a lot of attention to me. I don't know if I'm just picking up on it a lot, but that Zin is paying a lot of attention to me. Either way, we got rid of him. He is also going for a Max Well setup, which is kind of interesting. We'll get extra jump height so I can place myself up here. There is a reload for the Sky. I think she's just gone in there. Some more hits for the Ruckus. That is Drogo's going for the ult. I'm assuming he's coming for me. Yeah, I probably should have tried to react to that a bit faster but I'm confused as to why he altered me there. It does give us a chance to finish off our death hands. We'll also go ahead and grab Haven too. Might as well. Now that we've got death hands going, we should be able to actually start reload spamming. There we go. That's better. Without 60%, it feels weird. Go ahead and drop the ult there. Not a particularly good place to throw. I probably should have tried to hit it on the Ruckus or something. Sky is just wiggling in. There's a bunch of damage on you. Genos is using the ult. Luckily, I kind of fell down. Just going to keep spamming this now that I've got max death hands. It's actually pretty easy to do. Ruckus is going for the ult. There goes Drogos. I think it's kind of going around a little bit. There we go. Nice. I can actually play now. Now that I've got death hands max, I don't feel anywhere near as uncomfortable. Servers are definitely a little bit iffy, but they're not actually that bad. Genos is nearly getting away. Never mind. That is the Drogos. He's gone. We killed him as soon as he punched the Maeve. I don't know why she jumped in on him, but some shots for the Ruckus. Sky is going for the all. He's gone. And Ara Wall kind of coming in clutch. We didn't even really need it, though. There's some hits for the Sky. Nice. Zin is just doing mad worlds. He is gone, though. That took forever to throw out my reload. He should be gone here any second. He's doing worlds through the team. I kind of love it, but he is gone. There goes the Drogos. Hello, Genos. There's some reload spam for you. Nice. I feel like the travel on my reload is way slower than 
than usual. I don't think it was changed, but saying that they have changed stuff before and not noted it anywhere in the patch notes. I can't remember what it was recently, but there was something that you guys also noted had changed that I picked up on in a video that wasn't noted anywhere on the patch notes, but I can't remember what character that was for, but either way, it feels like my reload travels slower than normal. Let me know if it actually has. I couldn't say for sure because I don't play enough Dredge, but for those of you guys that maybe main him, let me know. We'll go ahead and get a little bit more Haven. I guess I should also get some quarter eyes going. Really, I'm trying to remember though what it was, but I just can't put my finger on it. Let's get rid of the Ruckus. Nice. I think that was the Drogo's ulting. I don't know where Genos is. Is he just up here? Just going to spam a bunch of reloads. There we go. He's gone. So let's get rid of the Drogo's. I'm going to teleport just so I can get the extra jump hike, I guess. There is a double. Nice. He is nearly gone. He's just whirling so much and he's actually still alive. Can't even be mad at the Zim because his playstyle is hilarious. Just continue throwing out some reloads. Guy's going for the ult. We'll just blast her a little bit. I'm going to place the F here. I guess I'll go ahead and ult the Ruckus. Might as well. Let me know what I'm doing here. There's a bunch of people kind of chasing me. I'm dead. Has actually been a pretty even match. We are ahead of them a little bit, but not by a massive amount. There goes the Ruckus. That is Zin ulting me. I am just dead. I couldn't really do anything to counter that one. Even if I placed my effort like the perfect time, I would have definitely died there. Reload definitely feels like it travels slower. Maybe that was something in the patch notes I just missed, but yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments. Ruckus is trying to ult on two health. Hello, Zin. I don't even have my F set up. Ruckus is just going along the top. It's not a Ruckus, it's a Drogo's. There goes the Zin, please. Nice. I kind of use it as a self bomb, but it worked. Finish off the Drogo's and then we should have it. Oh, never mind. We got it from the objective. There we go. So there we go. There are these stats for game one. Shout outs to the Zin. I did have a feeling that he'd maybe seen my stuff because of the setup and also just because he was paying a decent amount of attention to me there but he did a really good job zin f your level i was testing a build yeah that's something i've covered before i don't know if he got it from my video or not it's obviously something anybody could do but it was kind of interesting to go against without any skill and it's fun sorry for having fun no idea what's really going on here in the chat it resets every time somebody freaking types something but we'll go through the stats top to bottom koga did fine you know i played the objective a ton may have definitely had a bit of a tough time 515 32k cyrus did a really good job 100k heals drogos did pretty damn decent don't really know what's going on with the ruckus although he did play the objective i guess the sky did fine zin definitely gave me the most trouble alongside the drogos and then genos did decent but nothing crazy yeah there we go pretty standard onslaught to be honest just spent a minute looking at the champion screen to try and remember what it was that hasn't been noted anywhere as far as i know in the patch notes that i picked up on and a bunch of you guys who made moji also picked up on it was that her familiar spray not the spit i think it was the right click has a bigger range than it used to it got changed i think a patch or two ago but this was the thing that i was trying to remember in that match just there not that it really makes a big difference but it was just something with emoji that was fiddled with that i don't think was noted down that me and a bunch of other people picked up on but the point of what i was trying to say is that it feels like they did the inverted thing to dredge whereas reload travels really really slowly now for some reason personally i can't really say for sure if it has been changed because i don't play that much dredge but those of you guys that main dredge will surely be able to tell if it was fiddled with or not because i know when i mentioned it with emoji a bunch of you guys were like yeah that has definitely been changed so yeah let me know but either way let's jump into game two just keep for onslaught or tdm again the setup worked pretty well there in game one it was pretty rough until we got death hands going but since we had death hands three felt pretty natural and the reload spam was working pretty well all right well it seems like full game two we got on sort of mindset's archives again exact same map in game mode we've got an ash we've got a sky a Ceres, and a zin shout out to the ash but for the enemy team they have a sky Alexa, Leanna, a ruckus and a ying so a very similar team comp actually it's actually the exact same thing of course we'll go ahead and start off with the exact same thing we've got mortal of each we've got prep again on a sky we've got yummy we've got badding ram alacrity debilitate life exchange and then discovery kind of weird i'm seeing a decent amount of skies with prep so i think i might have to make a video on that sometime soon and then rocket barrage on the ruckus i feel like whenever i play magic states archives i always do the exact same start i just run towards the right and just spam that doorway usually it works out fine so i guess i'll go ahead and do it again our reload is kind of really slow until we get death hands going hello sky i'm in the exact same situation i was in before maybe i can hit you with some lucky bounces the cheese there was pretty damn high there we go we actually just caught her on the way down that was very very rude but luckily i didn't do the same exact mistake twice guess i might as well kind of camp in this little doorway here it's probably a decent spot for me to be i don't know why zin is standing still to fire that's a new one okay there's a hit for the sky what am i doing there's some blasts for the ruckus it is really going to kind of suck until we get freaking death hands going so i should play kind of safe I'm actually doing a bad job though overall it seems like i'm actually healing from my thing through the floor which is really interesting i don't know if i've ever done that before with dredge i didn't realize it actually went upwards or like downwards at all i thought it was like just a kind of horizontal thing but i am actually healing through the floor which is funny that's ruckus going for the ult i did just try and cast my ult on him but i think it just went straight through that kind of sucks he is dead though luckily that is sky also going for the ult but she is dead kind of a shame that the ult doesn't actually stop on people because i threw that just directly at the ruckus hoping it would for some reason like clip on his model but it didn't there is some shots from him though he is gone very weird dash moves from him there we're going to continue to spam our stuff we might as well i went ahead and finished off our death hands i don't know if azin is actually playing or not i think he might actually be a bot it's kind of hard to tell but either way we got our death hands going so we are now back to full capacity on reload spam dredge just going to continue to throw out as much stuff as i can there goes a ruckus and also the legs guess i'll kind of just place myself here there goes the Leanne 
potential. I wasn't even really trying to get her. The fact that I can just spam reloads this much is genuinely kind of crazy. This guy is kind of here at the back. That's Ruckus who went for the ult. I'm going to go ahead and throw mine just there. I didn't nearly die for that, but I think I did hit him. I don't know. Leon is going for her ult. There is a hit for the Ying, maybe. That's Ash going for the ult. That'll definitely kill the Ruckus. Maybe we can take somebody else out as well. Oh, she's nearly gone. Jesus Christ, the first I just hit her with there was kind of crazy. There goes the Ying and the Leon. I think I got them with the bomb that I threw there. That was weird. There is a Quadra. Is that a Quadra or a Triple? I don't know, but we killed four of them, I think. Let's also get rid of the Ruckus. Oh, the Leanne, sure. Jesus Christ, when you hit him with the combo, it hits pretty hard. There goes the Ying as well. Sky through the all. That's also the enemy Sky. The indicator for that took forever to show up. He is definitely gone here any second. Let me just push up for no reason. I feel kind of bad when I hit somebody for like 2k before they even react. I'm probably dead. I did throw the all in a decent spot, but I need to place my F so I can actually heal for a little bit. I'm just going to continue to spam that doorway. This is spam dredge after all. I'm dead to Lex. I probably should have, you know, actually teleported myself away. Just accidentally bought Master Riding, trying to finish off Nimble, so I guess I have that going for me. I feel like the one thing that I really fail with with Dredge, other than buying items apparently, is, you know, actually placing the F down in a decent spot. There goes Alexis. We'll see if we can get rid of somebody else. We hit the Lian a little bit there. It's some stuff for the Ying. Don't know if Lian's going to try and chase me or not. Ceres is behind her. Hello, Sky. There is a blast or two for you. I'm definitely getting some cheesy kills in this match in comparison to game one. Once again, got myself killed because I'm terrible at placing the F. Overall, it does seem like we're going to win the match. I got Master Riding too, so we might as well use it to try and flank. I think the Sky kind of accidentally hit me there. There's a reload for her. There's another one. She is gone. This is definitely an easier way to play a dredge than going with the other setups for sure because you don't have to really aim as much. You do have to kind of learn to compensate for it, but it's not really hard to do at all. What the hell am I doing? I don't know. There goes the sky. She tried to walk around the little ledge and I was just spamming a bunch of stuff at her. There goes the ruckus kind of accidentally. Ying's going for the ult. She's gone. Sky has actually been shredding this match. Let's get rid of this Lex if we can. I have no quarter eyes, something that I definitely should have bought, but I went for life rip instead because why not? I am healing from my thing through the freaking floor again, which is hilarious. Good to know, actually, that the F heals through the floor and the ceilings and stuff, because I didn't know that before. I'm going to go ahead and throw the ult here. Unnecessary, but there goes the sky. There also goes the Lex. Nice, I kind of saved myself. We'll just continue to spam as much as we can. That's a triple. That is a quadra. Technically, the sky helped there, but that is another victory. I feel like I actually did way better in game two than I did in game one, but I guess we'll see with the stats. If I have over 100k, that's honestly more than good enough. 112. I'll, I'll take it. That's actually way ahead of pretty much everybody there. Let's go through them top to bottom. Sky shredded. I could tell throughout the match she was doing a really good job. 15, 7, 50k. She has half of our damage, but she did pick up a ton of kills and assists. Ash also did a really good job there. She played the objective a ton. Didn't deal crazy damage, but she didn't do badly. Zin might as well have been a bot. I don't really know what was going on with him. He was playing really, really weird. Ceres did a decent job. Their Ying did pretty good. Their Ruckus actually has a way better stat than I was expecting there. He was a free kill for most of that game, but apparently he had 62k. Leanne didn't really do all that much. Alex didn't really do all that much, and Sky was definitely the person giving me the most amount of trouble, but yeah, there we go. Game two. Could do another one, but I don't really know why I would. I feel like I've shown pretty much everything that Reload Spam Dredge has to offer. It definitely has a bit of a slow start at the start of games, but it really does pick up towards the end and just gets really, really easy to play, especially on game modes like Onslaught. Definitely would recommend giving this a go if you haven't. This setup works really, really well with it. I'm definitely not the best at placing my F, so if you're better with it, I'm sure you'll have an even easier time, especially with the extra max health in there. Yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Let me know what you want to see me do next, and as always, stay frosted.